Today, our next topic is Kingdom Animalia. Classification of Kingdom Animalia. So, the classification of Kingdom Animalia. The animal has two kingdoms, Parazoa and Eumetazoa. Based on their organization, it is divided into two sub-kingdoms, Parazoa and Eumetazoa. Parazoa means multicellular multicellular organ that is multicellular means we can deal with the sponges sponges is a multicellular but they are loosely formed and they doesn't form any tissues or organ system that type is called parazoa eumetazoa eumetazoa it is multicellular animals it forms tissues and organs and organ system so there are two grades in eumetazoa you means true multicellular okay two grades radiata and bilateral radiata and bilateria so first we will see the classification so you can see the animal kingdom is subdivided to cellular level and tissue level first we will discuss about the cellular level so porifera so porifera is the cellular level Next, we comes to the tissue level. In tissue level, we have see the radial level and bilateral level. In radial level, you have two that is coelentrata and tenophora. And in a, uh, tissue level, that is in the bilateral level, you have without body cavity that is acelomate that is platyhelminthus. Bilateral with 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 coelom false coelom that is pseudo coelomate askelmanthus and with coelom is coelomate that it contains annelids arthropods mollusca echinodermata hemichordata and chordata so this is the normal classification so you can see the cellular level and the symmetry level body cavity level and the phylum level now we are going to discuss the grade 1 radiata. So in radiata, eumetazoans that is the true metazoans, multicellular animals forms the two layers of cells. The two layers means what? Ectoderm and endoderm. Outer ectoderm and inner endoderm. And it is these two layers are separated by a jelly like substance called mesogilia. So these animals, this in radiata, radiata itself radial symmetry. So the radial, if you can cut the body into any equal halves at any plane, that is called radial symmetry. And it is diploblastic means only two layers. The body cavity is diploblastic. So examples, nidarians means sea anemone jellyfish comes under nidarians. And tenophora means comb jelly. So these are the examples for radiata. So think it in mind. The radiata means eumetazoan, that is the two layers only ectoderm and endoderm and radial symmetry radiata itself radial symmetry so radial uh, symmetry and diploblastic animals comes in this grade one so nidarians sea anemone or jellyfish tenophora comb jellies next bilateria bilateria means there is another one other than the radiata the radiata that is the organ level of organization is seen but here it is bilateral symmetry you can cut at one point only you will get two equal halves that is called triploplastic animals you can cut at one point you will get two equal halves that is called triploplastic that is bilateral symmetry and triploplastic means you have three layers endoderm mesoderm and ectoderm so bilateral symmetry with three layers that is called bilateria. So here the bilateria is divided into that is the bilateria is divided into two taxonomical level called division. So the first division is prostomia. Prostomia. Prostomia means at embryonic level they have mouth is developed from the embryonic stage the mouth is developed so the based on this it is subdivided into acelomate pseudocelomate 
and coelomate already we had discussed about the acelomate means absence of body cavity pseudocelomate means the false body cavity cesocelomate means true body cavity that is cesocelomate true body cavity in that we have discussed in the previous slide if you want you can see the uh, previous slide also that is previous video also next dytriostomia dytrio means secondary mouth prostomia means the first mouth that is prostomia means the first mouth and dytriostomia means the secondary mouth you have two openings one for mouth and one for anus so one you taking the food and one is eliminating the waste so two mouth is present exam that and it is only one subdivision is there there you see three types pseudocelomate acelomate and cesocelomate but here only the enterocelomate is seen and here the body is true coelom so it is called as enterocelom you have a, you have a true coelom inside the body cavity with three layers okay because of that it is enterocel and it is derived from archentera so these are the divisions come across in the eumetazoa that is dytriostomia and protostomia from the bilateria from the bilateria so from the grade 2 you have through 2 1 that is two division prostomium and dytriostomium and you have understand about the prostomium and dytriostomium so thank you for watching the video if you like give a thumbs up share and subscribe to science easy tech channel